Hello everyone, I hope you're okay. Let's start our analysis for gold. See what's happening in the market. Let me share my screen with you. Right. Let's uh, start from daily, uh, sorry, weekly. And we, uh, uh, weekly gold chart. And you can see the market is trapped uh, between this week's uh, support and, 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 and this week's resistance, 1947 level and uh, 1914, 1914 levels. The market is currently moving between that level. However, in daily, as you can see, that market has broken this Asian low as well. And it tested the Asian low uh, in four hour chart. I'll show you that look in four hour it has tested. And no, uh, after this breakout here, we expect the market to go down. Let me use this one. And, and look, as uh, this was a breakout here and market retested and I'm expecting to market to go down here. Market may move here and eventually come down. However, uh, in daily, what's the situation in daily? Uh, let me show you something in daily. Daily, you can see that market is uh, closed now for about an hour, depending on which broker uh, you are trading with. Look, in daily, what's happening? Market uh, closed here, and this is the fair value gap. So it's about Nearly hundred, uh, nearly hundred pip, seventy to eighty pips gap. So I am expecting the market may go up to this level uh, before it comes down, and eventually the, we have news as well. So if possibility breaks and as end of week as well, we may expect the market to go up to the nineteen hundred levels. So, uh, in fact, it 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 can easily break as well this level we have uh, no doubt about that if it if it, it can break but we have to work our probabilities and see how the market will uh, move and will take will take the risk accordingly now these are the yesterday's levels and you can see that the markets have gave us some uh, good pips this level was broken we had a good trade here and See, this level was respected, 1,500 level, very nicely respected. Obviously, you do not take a trade until uh, you are, uh, until you have a confirmation. So we did, on confirmation, we did take a trade. And uh, look, market went up and we have this 1,922 level, uh, test, uh, level tested. So very, uh, very well, uh, structured uh, move today and if you know how to manage uh, your risk uh, you will always find it very interesting and the market has just uh, the Asian low as well uh, after breakout of the Asian low and and there was a level this level here as well so interesting it's very interesting and very nice pips juicy pips and currently what the market is doing Market is moving bit in between this level. So until market is breaking to the upside or to the downside, first level will be this, and with, uh, finally we have this level. Let me draw all the levels again, and uh, these levels are approximate levels. Make sure you tweak these levels in smaller time. And these levels just give you an idea. So these are the levels and uh, 
Once this level is broken, we expect to move to the 1910 level. Uh, 1910 level is the level here. In fact, this is a zone, and next level is 1905 and then 1900 level. To the upside, uh, we have 1927 and 1930 levels, and further to the upside, we have different levels, 1937 and 19, around 1950 level. So these are the levels, and always make sure you follow the level. And then Asian high and Asian low are... Do, uh, do play important roles as well. So what's happening in Dixie? Dixie event is going up today, as you can see, and hence we are expecting, and that's a weekly chart, uh, and weekly is going up, and in daily, uh, we went to the upside, nearly uh, tested its uh, resistance area here, because we had this daily candle here as well, here. So again, in fact, it tested the level, uh, and uh, now we went to the downside, but what happened, what we can expect further, if this level is broken, which is possibly can be broken, we can expect a very sharp move to the upside. And the goal, definitely the goal will move to the downside very sharply as well. So it's possible that it will range here before moving to the downside. All right. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, let's see what's happening in uh, uh, Forex Factory. We have tomorrow, like today is volatile day tomorrow as well. And you can see that we have quite a few new J J JPY news as well. Uh, these are heavy impact, the medium impact news and Euro heavy impact news in the morning. 9 a.m. where medium impact. And 1.30 p.m. We have CAD news and 9.30 a.m. GBP as well. So, and 2.45 p.m. we have heavy impact USD. We have some low impact news as well. And as you go along, you keep an eye on the, uh, these news. So we have a uh, heavily volatile day tomorrow and hope you, you will definitely make some profit if you follow the rules. And uh, let's have a quick look on what's happening in GBP, JPY. End of the week, so it's the best to, to look weekly chart as well and currently we can you can see that this is a level weekly level we have another week level as uh, sorry daily so daily as well as weekly and we definitely can expect us to come to this to this level looking into daily I mean one hour sorry what's happening if We need to break this zone. To move to the upside or downside. And also we need to break this to go come to this level. And this area, uh, this has to be broken before it comes to reach this. And if you broke this, and we buy and we break this, we sell up to the next one, 80.48 level, which is a weekly and day, daily level as well. So that's it uh, in GBP, JPY. You can see there's a fair value gap 
uh, it is a clean range in fact so we can expect to this uh, to this level now uh, have a have a quick look on gbp usd and what's happening in that Market broke this level, we retested it, and now we can expect market to come down further. However, if this level is broken, we can further speed movement, movement to the upside. And from here, we're looking for us to come down. Maybe consolidation for a bit, and then price move to the downside. That's GPPJ, uh, USD. And looking into Euro USD, let's you have a look, quick look on Euro USD. Euro USD is at uh, currently at a level as well. And uh, If we break this level, the next level is this weekly. It's a weekly scenario. This is a weekly level as well. So, otherwise, we'll see the move to the upside, as you can see in daily as well. So, we can draw different levels here. Yeah. And that's it. For, uh, so we have uh, enough uh, analysis for the different other pairs as well. Okay. Uh, when you trade, you make sure you put a smaller time frame and check against all your, all your probabilities and uh, make a correct decision. Have a uh, good risk to reward ratio and risk to reward uh, risk management is very important. Even you know your analysis. If the risk management is, is not right you will still not benefit okay i hope this is helpful and you have a good day good night thank you bye bye